Hey guys, and welcome back to Material Energy Cubed. This is Silver Contrail here, and we're on episode four now, I think. I'm recording a bunch of these in a row, so um, yeah, this should go up sometime next week uh, from when I'm recording it. Anyways, uh, of course, this is the map that we've been playing on. You can get it on the third party launcher thing. Information in the description. I'm getting kind of tired of running through that whole, uh, whole line, the whole spiel that I begin with. Uh, last time we explored the biosphere, just the top level. Uh, there's apparently more of it underneath. Oop, let me open this up. So we got this done. Uh, we can pick an axe and get our stuff. So we will go with, let's see, which one looks the best? How about, how about this guy? Shadow Iron Axe. Um, let me pop that out of the There we go. Cool. Uh, so we got an axe, and open up the book again. We need to go to the Climate Control Center. Um, and we can get... We need to get lava, four buckets of lava, and four buckets of gelid cryothium, which is uh, thermal expansion liquid. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to grab those if we can. If we can. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Um, let's see. Quite a few spiders still out here. It's a little annoying. Oh, hi. There you are. Desert spiders. They drop sand when they die. Just a little unexpected. If I can, ooh, I made that jump. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to, actually. We'll admit, I thought I wasn't going to make it. What's up with this? Oh, check this out. Let's go, minecart. No, don't steal my cart. No, no! It's gone. <laughs> oh, good thing I didn't ride it down there. Looks like there's a whole bunch of mobs. Let me down my sound. Uh, last time I realized it was a little bit too loud. Light up down here. Shoot. Thank you, game, for lagging temporarily. Just long enough for me to get wrecked by that dirt creeper. Uh, marble. Some glass. There's a chest up here, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Some coins. And a basic reward bag. Not bad. I'm going to just stash that for now. Um. Uh, now I'm on some of this. So I think this is the climate control center. I think. Could be wrong. Get out of here, Kriva. Get out of here. Oh yeah. Yeah, make it some noise. Another like mini spider or something? I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be a small spider. What is this? Oh, it's a baby spider. Okay. These guys are annoying the heck out of me. Oh, there's so many. Okay. Progressing through here. Damn, so many what is this? Oh, a speedy spider. It drops uh, sugar. Very cool. Whoa, he dropped from the ceiling. Is there something in here? Whoa. I wonder if they're spawning up there, too. Okay. Anyways. Um, yeah, so we're down here to get some jelly carothium, which is what this is. So that's pretty handy. Didn't have to go very far for that. Um, let's see if we can put down maybe some more torches. I have to leave this place um, 
mob free if I can. Or at least mostly mob free. I don't know how much I can get away with. Shoot. Ow. Youch. Yeah, that's the thing. Normal mobs don't spawn in this pack, so you won't find vanilla creepers, I don't think, or vanilla spiders or whatever. You're only going to find these uh, special mobs. Oh, that does not look like fun. It does not look like fun at all. Um, so yeah, let's grab... Since it seems we're okay... Go ahead and pop open the book. Um, did we get this? Oh, we did get this. Okay, so let's switch a couple of things out here. All right, so we need to first put down a tank, and then the extra utilities liquid transfer node, and then on top of that, the uh, hardcore quest delivery system. So the way you use this, if you're unfamiliar, you go in, you pick the quest, you select task, and then you right click on this. So now this is a consumed task for that. So if I, for that quest. So if I put anything in here, um, or anything in this tank, it'll get sucked out by the transfer node. And it'll go into the QDS, which will um, commit those buckets to that quest in particular, the one that's assigned to it. Uh, so we want to put lava in liquid or gelid, whatever it is, uh, in here. So let me do this to avoid making a huge mess. Yeah, suck that up, and we have 25%. Good. Alright, so, wow, look at that. There's already um, snow on top of them. I think that's the cryothium uh, that does that. It's so cold, it causes snow to like kind of frost on top of things. That should be everything I need uh, for that. And now I need to uh, get some lava. Well, I guess I could have just done that from below. <laughs> Would have been uh, just as easy. So one, two, three, and... That should get us our quest, so we are good to go. Uh, we pick one of these, I will pick this shovel. Success! Um, okay, so the next one is Entertainment Furnace. Uh, entertainment Fireplace. Below the climate center is the simulated is a simulated jungle, which has an AE observation area. AE observation area. Oh, okay. It's very overgrown, but lighting everything on fire will help me have a clear path. I should gather up some coca beans before doing this. So we need to get 30 coca beans. Wow, that's a lot. I have no coca beans. <laughs> Um, so we want to grab all of these things, we want to grab you, we want to grab you, we want to grab you, alright, um, I got this, and, I wonder if there's anything in these furnaces, there probably is in one of them something, and I could be here all day checking furnaces, and not find anything. A chest here though, uh, with a bucket of lava, and 13 iron ore, which isn't too bad. I should probably grab that before I leave. Uh, I probably am going to head back and... I'm not gonna have anything in them. probably going to head back uh, and deposit some stuff, and then uh, we'll make our assault. Um, into the downstairs, which is the simulated something. Oh, there's a chest here. Nice. Oh, there we go. Some victory monument wool. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and jump down there real quick. Or jump, um, jump upstairs, get some stuff together. So we can tackle this next area. It looks like it's gonna be tricky. I don't know what this is. A block of iron? Is this actual vanilla iron? Iron coin. That's up. Huh, is it? This is an actual iron well. Is it? I don't know. And some iron leggings, some iron boots. Wow, it's not bad. Yep, so I'm going to collect some of this stuff and I will be back. Alright guys, let's do a couple of these challenges here. Um, I got some more. Obviously I put those uh, items for the monument downstairs. So let's go into here. Let's do DLC. Um, if we give it two stacks of coins, we can get the DLC level, which is Mesa Cavern. So we'll uh, manually submit this and we'll claim reward. So we got Mesa Caverns, this is the DLC map, <laughs> and the basic reward pack. So there's, there's a lot of jokes in this uh, mod pack, so it's, it's pretty fun. Um, let's open up a couple of these reward bags. Oh, we got some more coins back, didn't we? Or did we? These might have been the ones that I were, were using. Was using. Were using? Was using. One of the two. Um, so let's crack this guy open. We get one piece of string. <laughs> excellent, excellent. This one, we get one piece of nether quartz ore, one leather, one boat, and one bowl. Also interesting. And then final bag, one shiny ingot. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so oh, of course, you don't expect anything from basic bags, so it is pretty much whatever. Um, that's barrel though, so that's kind of handy. Barrels are a nice place to store stuff when you get a bunch of it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I think we are ready to go ahead and... Is this a shovel? This is a shovel. Let's put this in here. Let's actually take the axe though. Um, we don't really need a bucket. They suggest... Now, he suggested that we light things on fire. Uh, which we can do if we get the flint and steel. But we want to get the cocoa beans first, and we get flint and steel as reward, right? We do get flint and steel as reward, okay. Alright, so we want to light it all on fire eventually. Alright, but first we gotta get down there. Um, we're probably gonna need some blocks. Let's go get some gravel, I think. I think that'll be the, the way to go. Oh shoot, you guys are all over the freaking place. Wish I had a bow, I, I don't have one yet. I could make one I guess, but I don't really have arrows for it either. Should be good now. Um, I'll put a torch right here. It's kind of dark over here. Do I have? Okay, I do. Okay, just want to make sure I have stuff to make torches with and all that sort of stuff. Cause I don't want to have to come back up if I can avoid it. Get some speed. Speed Racer. Wait, no, it's Ridge Racer, right? Ridge Racer. Yeah, there's a ton of them up there. Yeah, we should go up. We should really go up there and block that off. Those guys are gonna drop down on my head. Um. Jeez.
All right, should be good. I do not have enough gravel. There is no way I'm going to be able to do this. I guess I can just climb down it, right? No big deal, right? Until poisonous spiders start spewing from every wall. Oh, boy. All right, let's see. This should work okay. Okay, steel ladders. Man, that one is going to catch me. And then I'm going to get consumed. Right. Very careful now. That is weird. What the heck happened there? As long as I can break this, I should be okay. Right. Scallop in here. Oh, this is a vanilla skeleton. So some, I, I think vanilla mobs do spawn. They're just greatly decreased. Um, we need to get coca beans. There's a skeleton. There's a I keep saying skeleton. There's a spider there. A couple of them hiding around. Ouch. Hello. Alright. <laughs> and, and then immediately turn around and, and not fight me. That's okay, spider. Attack, retreat, come back for more. Whatever floats your boat, man. Whatever floats it. Personally, buoyancy floats my boat, but hey, people—people people don't float that way. You know what I mean? This is like a joke hour right now. <laughs> oh no! Stop it! Uh, let's get this real quick, so I make sure I'm always regening. All right, here is the good stuff. Let's just go ahead and axe all of this. Awesome. Okay, we have pretty much everything we need. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's, uh, you know what? Let's light this on fire. You know, why not, right? I mean, that's what we're here for, isn't it? Um, do we want a stack of coins or reward bag? Let's get the stack of coins. All right. We're ready to go, guys. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna spread fast. This is gonna spread really fast. Or not. Oh, I'm gonna lag. Uh, man, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty crazy. Uh, yep. Or or not? I don't I don't know. Maybe it won't be crazy. Move, spider! We need to get out of here. Can't be, can't be diddle daddling. Kind of wanted to see it all burn up from one spot, but uh, that ain't happening. Oh, shoot! I want all of this stuff. Ah well, just don't burn. It'll be fine. <laughs> After all of this is burned down, we can come back and grab it. Ah! Get away from me, baby spider. Okay, now I'm really starting to lag. I probably won't be able to record this section, because, uh, yeah, connection man. Oh, apparently it's not going to burn everything, so I should just use this to kind of burn away the canopy. I don't know.
stupid spider dodged both my flames. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're placing down fire? Let me just dodge them. Slightly less uh, interesting than I want. I could probably bump my difficulty up to hard and uh, let the hard flames take it out. I think those are still in the game. When you're in uh, hard difficulty, the flames are more, uh, more violent. This is kind of fun, though. I should use this for clearing away um, canopy and uh, other maps. Like Vex-style CTM maps or something. This is actually not bad, because it doesn't burn away so much the environment that you can't traverse it anymore, but it does get rid of uh, a lot of the really annoying stuff. Why can't I place fire here? There we go. Um, yeah, but I think, uh, since this isn't working as I thought it would, uh, I think we'll probably call the episode quits here in a second. Let's check the book real quick, though. Um, the next one is Polytool. Oh, shoot. Or is this what we want? Okay, yeah. Polytool. Um, in the AE observation area, there are multiple drives filled with disks. One of those disks is a poly tool. This should be the last tool I need to get the portal up and running to return home. Poly tool. This is it the AE observation center? Um, let me cut real quick, or maybe we'll just grab this stuff and just head back. Oh, he's stacked. Oh, okay. I didn't think these stacked, so that's why I was really worried. I wouldn't be able to bring them all back. Um, and strain in this. Alright, good enough. We pretty much got everything down here. We don't need to burn away the rest. Oh, that was really dumb. That was really dumb. <laughs> so, like, yeah, let me just jump through cobwebs. Because that works 100% of the time. That it works. All right, let's head back. Um, so I think I'm going to try to record one more episode before I leave. Uh, because, of course, I'll be going on vacation soon. So that should be the last thing I upload. Uh, that should go up probably later this week. Um, obviously, <laughs> it'll go up uh, whenever you're watching it. Or sometime before uh, you watched it. So it's relevant for you. It is somewhat relevant for me. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Anyways... Um, I want to find out where this poly tool is <laughs> before we do anything else. Uh, poly tool, poly tool. This is the observation center, right? Oh no, below the climate center is simulator, which has an AE observation area. Oh, so it's in there. We'll do the next episode, I guess. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and until next time then.